I want to take my time with this video because I don't want to miss a thing. You know, I don't know why. I don't know why things are this way, but <coughs> it seems like 99% of things today is just like a game, like nothing's genuine. Like when people reach out to you, it's not genuine. Like when things happen, when you're doing things with somebody, when, when things are going down, like if you have somebody over, it's not genuine. If you go somewhere to do something with people, it's not genuine. When people reach out to you, it's not genuine. It's like nothing's even real. Like, what is going on? Where's the times where we could sit on the couch together as bros and dap up and like, I'm calm, you're calm, we feel good, chilling, vibing. Like, there's love there. Like, there's nothing shady going on. Your friend isn't being jealous of you. Like, what is going on? I have come to the conclusion <laughs> that demons have taken over the world and so many people. Like where's the kindness and compassion and empathy and the love for one another? Cause it's like, <laughs> everything's a game. Like everything, the people you see, your acquaintances, they're mad. Your own friends are mad at you. When people can't use you the way they want to, they get mad at you. It's like, you're just a pinball at this point. Just, people just want to use you. And nothing else is there. It's not genuine. No one wants to build anything. Nobody wants to like commit. All I want to do is commit to the things that I do. I don't want anything else. I don't want fair weather friends. I don't want fair weather females. I don't want none of that. Like, I don't understand how people are so lame, so stupid. It really is the chosen ones against everybody today. Like, it really is. Like, no one is your friend, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. These people out there, they're not your friend. Not, nothing is even, it, it, like they're not, they're actually against you, but they like, they don't want to make it seem that way. They hide it, but it's really that way. Like you could not possibly have a genuine connection or relationship with these people. The texts, the conversations with individuals nowadays, it's gotten even worse. It's, it, it's getting even shadier. People is just, I don't know what the hell's happening with people, man. I don't know why people are, are allowing these things to happen. Like you have to get up and fight for your life. Like you have to get up and you have to stay positive. You have to get up and you have to do certain things. I'm a wounded animal right now and I'm continuously getting things done. People are fully healthy, not doing a damn thing. You have all this time, all this energy, all this everything, and they do nothing. You could be injured and you do more than them. You look at the positive side more than they do. Like if you're young and you're healthy, you have all the energy on earth to do whatever you want to do. Bro. <laughs> In between the ages of like, let's say 19 to 23, 24 ish, I had the energy at any given time to just get up and run. To just, at any time, like I go to the gym, I pack a meal with me when I go to the gym. As soon as I'm done working out, I eat that meal. I come home, drive home at this time, eat another meal. And then a half hour later, I'm doing more core work at my own house on a sit-up bench 
doing like 400 more sit-ups while I'm watching positive content and I'm just like, you can do anything like that. I think, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because it all stems, like I think the world today, it all stems down from degeneracy, from people not doing what they should be doing. Like brother, when you're young, you're only that young once. There's a huge difference even in 28, which is the age I'm at right now, and 19 to 23, 24. Like there's, there's maybe not a huge difference, but there's a difference. Like the energy is a little bit different. You don't notice it too, too much, but there's a difference. The point is, you're running at a time. You're only gonna be young once. You're only gonna, gonna be that young and wild and energetic once. <clears throat> People wanna use those years to do absolutely nothing to then slave like a dog when they're old. Like it's backwards. Like I remember hitting puberty, bro, like at 16, 15, 16, getting this crazy, crazy strength. The biceps just grew out of nowhere. I'm starting to get like pecs. I felt so powerful, so strong, confidence to the roof. All I wanted to do is just keep working, keep playing sports, keep competing. I want to wrestle with everybody because I just feel like an animal. But people, you see people at 18, 19, throwing in the towel, quitting. Becoming withered. It's like, bro, at that age, I was jumping off the walls. It really might be the end of times. Because I don't see people at that age doing anything good. People is just, they do bare minimum. People are doing bare minimum when you should be going balls to the walls at those ages. But they're not. They're falling into traps. They're falling into degeneracy. They're falling victim to whatever they fall victim to. It's destroying their lives. You, you, you have a certain amount of time to build your life. Because you're only going to be that young once. And it's not that you can't do things, but it's not going to be the same. You're just going to make it harder for yourself. So when you're damn near invincible, which is what it feels like when you're that young and energetic, you get that, do it. <laughs> you get to do it. Because you're going to get to my age. And I say this like I'm old. I'm really not. Like I'm still young and energetic myself. But you're going to start to get injuries here and there. Things are going to happen. It's just not the same because when you're that young, like it was impossible for me to get injured. Like I was just so young, flexible, durable. But then you start to get up there in your later 20s, possibly early 30s, an injury here, an injury there, because all the wear and tear. I don't have a crazy injury, but it's like, it's wear and tear type of injuries over time that start to get you. You use your knees so much, you use certain body parts so much and exercise so hard, it's the wear and tear over time. It's not this big crunch and oh my God, you blew an ACL, it's, it's, it's wear and tear. And these things will happen, but that's why it's important to get to it when you're young. And people ain't doing it today because they're turning to degeneracy. They don't wanna be the odd one out. They don't wanna be chosen for something. They wanna fit in, they wanna blend in, they wanna drink and party and do what everybody else is doing and not do what they should be doing individually because that's the only way on God's green earth, are you gonna build your life? You're gonna to have to do things solo or get with a group that's gonna do it as well, but how often does that happen? Not too often. And if you don't have that, which I didn't, you're gonna to have to do it yourself. You're gonna to have to learn yourself, apply certain things yourself, do it yourself. You have no other choice. But instead of doing that, people turn to degeneracy. People turn demonic. Because they're not doing the right things. 
and how much time is going to pass until you realize, damn, I messed up. That's what you don't want to happen. I made that impossible for me to happen because I was so relentless. Like that thought motivated me. Like I'm getting after like, I feel so good, so powerful. Like I can do anything. So I did something about it. You have to do something about it. Everybody has to do something about it. Because if you don't, life is gonna blow you around from place to place, from thing to thing. But anyways, I genuinely feel like today, like bro, you can't, you can't depend on nobody. You can't depend on a good friend because they all turn demonic. They all fucking lose. They just lose. They choose to lose. It's like you're up. You choose to be up. You choose to get shit done and them not so much. They're just falling levels and levels and levels below you by not doing what they should be doing the way you do it. So everyone has lost it. Only the chosen ones can relate to this. We are the only ones going up. We are the only ones who choose to continuously fight for this life. But them? No. Nah. Everybody around you is thrown in the towel, bro. Everybody around you has quit. Everybody around you has lost. And it's a choice. This is the world we're living in today. Genuinely. And you can't depend on nobody. Like, you really can't, like... It's damn near impossible to have a genuine friend around. Like, it's damn near impossible to have someone around that's just in the right state of mind. Like, you could be calm as anything around this person, just like genuine. It's like, why can't people be present? Like, why, can I, why, why can't people be present anymore? Like, it's like, bro, if you get a friend over, it's like, this person is just out of it. Like... They have these demons. They're not even comfortable. Like they can't even get comfortable around you or even around themselves. They just can't, they're, they're, ne they're always disturbed. They're disturbed people. This is what is going on. It is crazy. And the more deep of a conversation you have with certain people around you, the more you see that, uh, yeah, they're gone. Some people might appear sometimes to come around you and give you a little smile or something. Oh, what's going on? But then when it gets a little bit deeper, you start to see the demons unravel. They're not even that person. They act nice off riff, but when you break it down to the core of who they are, they're not, they're not a good person. Mo the best you're gonna see from people is straight off the jump. If you haven't seen someone for a while, they're either gonna hate or they're gonna come up to you and be excited to see you for a second, but then they're gonna start to show their negative traits. This is what it is. Like people have become so predictable. Like it's a laughing joke. What is wrong with people, man? What is wrong with people? I'm just glad I'm not like these people. Cause it's crazy. It's so easy for me to be present in the moment and have a good conversation with someone. Everyone's so crazy, man. Like, what is going on? People take things out on you, like, unnecessarily. People, like, people don't want to laugh. People don't want to be positive. People don't want to do any of those things. Like, bro, when I'm around people, I'm laughing most of the time. I love to have a good time. Like, I, I love to work hard and play hard. I love to have a good time. I love to laugh and joke around, like, <clears throat> even when you're building things and stuff like that, building homes, renovating houses, put some tunes on, drink some coffee, get to work, have some laughs and everything else. Like, there's nothing better. 
Let the good times roll, but where's the good times at? People have fallen to degeneracy. Like, bro, their lot. I think it's because, I actually, in fact, I know. It's because their lives are in shambles. Most people's life is in absolute shambles. Like, they can't get it together because they're not working hard enough. They don't want to do it enough. They don't want to be disciplined and dedicated enough. And you wonder why your life's in shambles. Because you're a doughhead. You got rocks for brains. Like, you can't even take a step back to reevaluate the wheel, to do things the right way in a professional manner so you can get this shit right. Because you get one life. But nope. Let's just go out with the boys and... Be completely stupid. Like, what are you doing? You have a life to build, you know. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is this going to do? These stupid-ass conversations you're having with your boys, what is this going to do? You don't have a help and help, Al. What are you doing? You don't want... There's nothing better than talking business with people, talking moves with people, wanting to get things going with people and do some work, be productive. People are so crazy today. It's because they're not those things. They don't do those things. They do bare minimum. Like the, 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 the six, seven, eight hours, nine hours they want to show up to work, they don't want to go. They dread it. They dread it. They dread it. They dread it. Like, they don't want to work. But that's what life is. You're not going to get out of here without working. No one's going to come to your home and toss a billion dollars at you. No one's getting out of this shit without doing work. You might as well have a good time doing it. You might as well be smart. You might as well get disciplined, dedicated. And make the best of it. Work hard. Play hard. Have a good time. Vibe through life. But it's like, no. Let's just do absolutely bare minimum what we have to do. And then on Friday, oh, the week over. Oh my God, I got my paycheck. And then go and be a complete degenerate. And repeat the cycle. That is a sick cycle. And all that is happening is because you don't want to get dedicated. You don't want to get disciplined. You don't want to be the best version of yourself. You don't take your health seriously. You don't take yourself seriously. You don't take anything seriously. How could I take you seriously? How could anybody else take you seriously? Like, there has to be something on your conscience every single day where things have to get done, even on Sundays. Even on Sundays. <laughs> but people <clears throat> would rather be a degenerate, get all these escapes left, right, and center. And it's because you, you're letting life light you. You're letting life light you is what you're doing. You have to be tougher than that. Like... Stop wanting to enjoy yourself so much. That is killing you. Your pleasures are killing you. The fact that you want to enjoy yourself so damn much and think that's what life is. Delusion. When you get shit done, there's nothing better. Nothing feels better. You feel accomplished. You feel good. You don't feel guilty. You don't feel like miserable in the day. Like you feel good. Because you're doing things, you're getting stuff done, you're getting healthier, you're getting fitter. You're working on things. You got good people around you, you got good friends around you, you got good shit going on around you. Like, where? why do people not want to build shit up? I don't get it. They just want to be this low life scum of the earth. Being a degenerate. Doing stupid things and going into the darkness and it's like, what are you doing? Stay right here in the light. Take it on. Be disciplined with your boys. I was the only one. I was the only damn one. Back when I was an older teenager, it's like, 
They could have all done it, but they didn't. We could have had a great time getting after it in life, but they all failed themselves. But guess who didn't? Me. Guess who stayed on the path? Me. Guess who didn't quit? Me. Guess who became successful? Me. Guess who didn't? Them. Guess who's a demon? Them. That is your choice. It's your choice. The best thing anybody could do is get after it with their boys. Get after it with your friends. But no, let's just be a degenerate with each other. What are you doing? That's not fun. That's not cool. <laughs> you shill. <laughs> People don't want to get, I, I, I don't understand. Why not? Why not live a fun, adventurous, wild, getting after it, go getting type of life? Getting to the money, getting to the chicks, getting to the, and being up instead of just being an idiot. I don't get it. Because demons have taken over these people. And it's their own damn fault. <laughs>